strengths and weaknesses. Parents and teachers should identify the strengths of a student and encourage them in that direction and explore to the maximum extent their strength. And also should identify their weaknesses, where they are weak and uh, fill the gap. That way the student can be molded into a good person. Some people may be feeling, there is always one feeling that he is rich kid, poor kid. This sort of feeling might be there in some students. Never bother about, the, about this. Poor and rich can be overcome by your willpower. There are many examples in the world. Our Abdul Kalamji is a great aspiration. Why to go the far, that far? As I am standing here, I come from very poor family. There was no power in my house at my schooling. Current, that, that no current. I studied with a lamp, kerosene lamp. And uh, there was no pocket money in my, with me when I was in engineering, even for tea. When st uh, my friends go for tea, they will ask, Chal I used to deny. One day they will give, two days they will give, three days they will give. Fourth day, I have to pay. There is no money with me. I stopped taking tea for that period. And also, books, they, I, it will be easy, not easy to digest, but the uh, thing is, I have not purchased a single book in my diploma or engineering. I shared my books, I, I took my friend's books, used to make half of that and uh, study and completed my engineering, even for calculator. That was my background. So, if you are determined, your willpower is there, you can achieve anything in the world. On the earth, nothing is impossible. And one more example I will tell you. One person, very poor person in uh, Mumbai, his mother works, household works, and uh, he, she helped him starting his education, but not able to continue. There are many scholarships now also. He could get one scholarship from Tata Society, and he has become one of the influent person in India. One occasion, USA, some organization has, has to identify two persons from India who are influencing the Indian institutes and uh, students. They have identified two. One, uh, like the gathering like this was there. And he went for that occasion. And uh, surprisingly, along with him, with whose scholarship he has studied, Ratan Tata was the other person. Ratan Tata, along with him, he who took the scholarship from him, he reached that level. So, I always say, money is not any, everything. You can, inf you can come over, come across, come over, all these things with your determination and willpower. Definitely, your mother and this motherland is expecting and waiting for a responsible Indian coming out of this institute, may not, you may be having a longer way, go, way to go, but definitely molding the seed will be from the school only. I am sure this school will make the students responsible citizens of this great motherland. And uh, I am sure that uh, leadership of this, when I had a chat, they are looking for not only marks for other things, Definitely a personality will come out of this school which will enrich this country. See, in we, India has a big culture, great culture we had. Universities is like Nalanda, Takshashila was started here, ancient levels. Now we are going to foreign countries for our education. Nothing wrong. We can go, we can learn which is not present here, but we have to serve our country. This country needs young Indians. As on paper, we have the la largest youngsters country. But on ground, 
our youth is migrating to foreign countries and serving their nation. That has to be stopped somewhere. There are efforts and I hope by the time this tiny tots reach to that level, they will be having that uh, other countries coming to India and uh, work, uh, learning here our culture. Now, I'll close my speech with two as aspects. Everybody says, set the goals. How to set the goals? There will be a lot of confusion. Especially the kids will be having a lot of confusion and even parents. Simple, two goals I'll tell you to set. One is, your mother or father should hug you and give you a shabash that you made us proud, you made our family proud. One goal. Second goal, like this, your own school, you should come and stand as a chief guest. These two goals you set for yourself. One is, your parents should be proud of you at some moment in your life. And second, your own school or college, wherever you study, you should be going as a chief guest. We have set some goals. Now to reach them. There are again two aspects I'll tell you. One is, train your body. Until unless you are fit, your mind will be not stable you have to spend on your body. How? See, how much time you are spending on eating every day? Breakfast, like dinner, at least one hour, minimum. You have to spend on your body, physical exercise for one hour. Okay, 45 minutes at least. I don't agree that we don't find the time. It is the time management, how you do. What is the priority you have? If you have priority for charting, your time is gone. If you have priority for physical exercise, you will get the time. Next, train your mind. Mind is the fastest, faster than light. It will reach so many places. In fact, occasion, the time I got the invitation, I also went to my schooling days. For last uh, two days, I was roaming around my schooling days and uh, getting those sweet memories. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, one and all. Thank you very much.